Hi, I'm Lindy Whitten, welcome to the studio. I'm back doing one of my mini paintings and this one is again on a hand prepared piece of matte board which I've coated with clear pastel primer which I've mixed a couple of drops of acrylic ink in a magenta colour. The more ink you put in, the brighter the colour. It's a sort of magenta pinky colour and I'm going to actually paint a small uh, forest with a little waterfall coming through it. I wanted some, something nice and vibrant against all those greens. Just zoom us in and we'll get going on that one. So you can probably now see the texture and the uneven oh, marks of this. What I'm going to do, oh, I might just need to attach that a little more firmly. That's good. I'm just going to block in uh, with a green the contact crown, just the vague outlines of what I'm going to do here. There'll be okay. So what's going to happen is there'll be some water here, which I'm putting in this a couple of different greens and like those yellows and uh, amongst them will be some little rocks I'm just putting those just marking those with a little, some little cray, um, charcoal marks just to give the idea of some little shadows at the base of rocks there that are going to be underwater there are going to be more rocks at the side, so I'm just blocking some of these in now. Um, that one. These are the little parts of the waterfall. This is the lower section of the waterfall, and then there's whole lots of rocks at the side, and they're just getting noted in with some of sort of a, a, a neutral kind of colour. That's a little bit off, isn't it? Let's see if I can straighten that up for you. That's a bit better. I've got a, a lot of different greens and so on to put there, but I'm going to start off with um, something that's going to be more like the mid value of those trees. So there's, a, there's a whole lot of different sorts of greens in here. I'm just starting off with trying to get some coverage. Of where those trees are going to go and I'm putting it in in green but I'll be changing those colors shortly and there's a couple of different sorts of greens here and what I'm trying to do for a star is just um, fill in that pink so I, I knock it back a bit there'll be some darker areas in there which I can put in later. I'm going to put in some blues. Back here is going to be fairly light because that's where the sunlight is. So I'm going to reserve some lighter colours for back here and they'll all be quite light. And even some yellows amongst them. I may even put in a small amount of warm peachy colour as well. And then all these are darker greens and also some 
some yellowy kind of colours, then back into the greens and the blues. I have to mark where the waterfall is going to go. And it's actually quite dark, the rocks there. Surprisingly dark. I'm going to put in a couple of steps of the waterfall. And this final one here. So that's where the water is going to be coming over. I want to blend those a bit and I'm just going to use a hard ponte here so that I've got a bit of that pink gone. I'll use a couple of different contes. I'm kind of filling up the tooth a bit there. I'm also a little bit of that in the, the water as well. A little bit of that one in the water. So it's a bit of reflection coming down out of uh, those trees. It's, it's way too symmetrical there, but I, I'm going to start cutting in once I've got the waterfall in with the trees and then it will lose some of that symmetri symmetricality. So I'm starting with the water, just kind of cascading, pulling, cascading over, and over in just a couple of spots here. So that will be coming over in greens and blues. And it is picking up that dark underneath. It's, it's a fairly difficult thing to do. The water cascading over there without um, picking up what's underneath it. But it's hard to go back in underneath and put in the, the water if you haven't got it in at first. Now the hot pink, I don't really want the hot pink and what I'm going to do is work some of them. Well, I don't want to do much of it, so I'm working some of that into the, the rocks as well. And then I just keep going back and forth with the colours that are coming over there. And I will have a few really white bits eventually. But right now it's just going to be the greens and the blues. see the water there. Uh, there'll be a bit of cascading water but there's also rocks up in that area so I'm going to put some of those little rocks in and they're just random shapes along the edge there. And those rocks are going to go in here as well. You can see me just scraping some of those in. whole area fairly rocky there and I'll, I'll run a bit of water through it and that just helps to guide us through this way as well. Some of the rocks will come over over there and then I'll be able to swing the water in amongst the rocks there 
and through like so. So we get more of a pattern through there. I'll need a little, some little bits of much lighter water coming over as well. So now I'm starting to put in some more of the, have more of the white in them. Pulling it through some of those blues and greens as well. Making some little splashy bits here around the base. Yeah, it's the waterfall coming over. It's still a lot of pink coming through, and we'll see what I think about that as I progress. In the rocks, I'm out now adding in some warmer colours onto the rocks. Same over this side. And at this stage, I think I'm going to go in with the charcoal and just work around the rocks a bit. making some charcoal rocks as well. Because this is quite dark back in there, so I can I can afford to make some of the, the rocks here darker. media never hurts. Now it's become more pool like there. Uh, and I can keep pushing and pulling that as much as I'd like. Just load in a bit of water going back through there. And that just changes the shape again of that, that area. And the warmth is coming through from underneath and helping to create the look of water uh, here. I'm just going to take a light, softer pastel and spread a few of those bits of foamy stuff around amongst the rocks. So this is really quite a, a sketchy kind of painting and they don't all have to be super finished and what I'm aiming for here is a, a kind of sketchy look. Now I need to do more work up in the trees, a lot more work. So what I'm going to start to do is to carve out some uh, bits of shadow there is. I'm going to carve out some fern like as well going up through there and that immediately starts to give you a nice sense of darkness and foresty kind of feel that we were missing and if you pull some of those out and over the waterfall that again breaks up the shape of the waterfall you might even want to have quite a large one Here. going over to meet the other side. I'm just using the very sharp edge of these dark hairy Ludwigs to create the, the various tree trunks there. So already we've got a nice um, batch of trunks and what I'm doing now is just going in and deepening and darkening up some of these rocks using that same very dark colour. 
just to help tie it together. Okay, some nice darks down here at the base as well. Just scrumbling it in. And these rocks are over here are in the shadow a bit. So they're getting much darker colours. You can have some of that shadow coming out here onto the water as well. Making that all a bit darker and deeper and more mysterious in that spot there. Uh, that's not enough. We need to have more depth within those trees and I'm going to go in with something not as dark as I was just using but still dark and start making some individual trees, leaves. That's that rather large tree. So we'll put some of these dark ones back here. We'll offer a tree back here. And then we're going to bring some lighter trees in the front of that. And they'll be much lighter. as well. And then within the, the dark there I'm going to make some even darker darks. So pull them. You notice that they're not green either there. The um, dark purple sort of colour. Just making another dark tree up there, and another dark one in there. And then I'm getting a more redder purple. Just so there's some warm colours in amongst the green over the top of that hot pink. Working in some more tree trunks there. These uh, rocks at the foreground, I'm now going to get working into with some Conte's and I'm going for a more covered look at that hot pink behind there. So working that all in and then I'll go back with the charcoal. because it's a nice warm colour, so just imparting a little bit of warmth in a, a few spots there. And the water is quite warm underneath the, the bits of foam that are reflecting because it's got some of those rocks in it, so just pulling those across. And then I'm going to work back in over that with a bit of sky colour, which you can't really see, but you'll be able to see in a few spots in this little pond. And then some of the colours out of the foliage there. 
They're going to get a little pull down with my finger, the sort of reflection colours. I haven't really got them in dark enough and that's because I foolishly put all the white in first. So what I'm going to do is get a really deep dark one and pull down a few spots. And then instead of using my finger, I'm going to go in and use actually the charcoal to blend a little bit because that will counteract the coolness of the water, that the light colour of the water behind it. And then what I'm going to do is put a bit of green in there as well. extra watercolour and that will sort of soften off those reflections a bit and make them a little more horizontal but still carrying in reflections. And that's fairly, a fairly believable pool there now, and I can just pull a couple of little bits of sparkles of light here and there on the surface of the water. Still not happy about that, so we're going to get a couple of Little submerged rocks there that help bring it over to these rocks. Maybe I'll even put another rock there. I think that might help help it as well. So in again with the contours. Some of those submerged rocks are getting a little bit of colour into them. be darker and more shadowed back there as well. So now I'm going to get in and start laying in some deeper shadows here at the edge of the waterfall. So I've just deepened and darkened up that waterfall a little bit as well. But the pink is still in there and it's still uh, giving us a nice little sense of warmth with that. If I don't want quite so much of it, I can go back in and just touch up spots with darker colours as I'm doing there.
And now I just need to do the finishing touches of a few more light spots in the foreground. those yellows there I could be a little bit more adventurous and pop in a little bit of orange tempered with the yellow just for some little splashes of colour amongst all that. Um, even some different blues in amongst there, some light brighter blues will contrast with those yellows that I've put in as well. Not too much but just enough to, to brighten it up a little bit in, in a few spots. I'd like to deepen this up again so going in with a and dots. I can give those rocks a little touch of a highlight if I want. There's something a little bit lighter and I'm going for that kind of not too pink but I will put a little touch a little touch of pink on those to kind of play with the background we got a little bit of that shows through and I just want to put a little bit more of that water going over there that now that I've been in and out of it a little bit.
my hands are getting quite dirty with all the, the darks that I'm putting in. So that's a bit of a challenge. But I do want the odd little touch of the almost white in there. I want any really thin lines. I just take them back in with the, the charcoal again. I'm calling that done almost. You know, it's hard to give up, isn't it? What I want to do is just make that recognisable as a rock. So it stops us going straight out there. Let's call that done. And that is, you know what, it actually needs to spread out a bit over here too. As it comes down, the waterfall gets kind of wider. I still think it's too centred, but really it's too late to do that. I should have worked that compositional part out earlier in the piece and I didn't so uh, that's what you get <laughs> what I'm trying to do is push it all that way a little bit so I get a more zigzaggy shape going in through like that so, uh, I'll see if that works Pushing some of the lighter colours over this way, not so much over that way, and then trying to lead them down that way. Slightly better. Uh, let's just call it done. So there we have another little mini painting, waterfall in the forest with some trees over hot pink to, to see how uh, that little bit of warmth really does help even though I've covered a lot of it up. I hope you enjoy that. I'll see you next time.